Jesus is coming not later on. We know that we don't know the exact day or time, but we know it is coming and he will come back to earth. Not this time, it will not be to on grace and on, on his message. This time it will be on to be to, to pass the judgment. He said, when I see you, will I know your name? And yes, he knows all of us. He knows everything. He knows every grain of sand on every planet and every galaxy in the entire universe. He knows everything down to the tiniest the atoms. He knows absolutely everything with intimate awareness. But in him saying, will I know you? Because you have to accept him. You have to have a relationship with him. And I've said this time and time again. We all have a free choice. I'm never going to judge, uh, uh, judge you for your choices. I'm a sinner just like anyone else. But I say, accept Jesus as your Savior. It's a simple thing. Just say it to yourself. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, Jesus, I know you died on the cross and you did it for my sins and it paid in full and I believe in you, Jesus. Start from that. Let the Holy Spirit and God... It's a miracle working you go from that all right uh, you know the problem with a lot of people is they don't trust man's church man's churches the roman catholics the baptists the all of those different denominations of the different churches right now in the philippines there's uh, a church founder is being sought after you know for crimes he's committed against humanity. Uh, again, we see that all around the world. Man corrupts Christ's faith by imposing religion. Look at what the Pharisees did and the church officials at Jesus' time coming the first time. They crucified him. They, they did not want him, even though they their entire scrolls and everything they existed in upon was to te teach the people about the coming of the messiah and when the messiah came nope we're gonna kill you <laughs> you know so a great many things that jesus had done while he was walking here was he fulfilled several hundreds of prophecies of his of his coming now interestingly where the extended prophecies of his second coming where are they are they missing book of revelation my friend book of revelation we need to begin now reading the book of revelation so i will include conclude here by saying if you've not accepted jesus as your as your savior please don't delay i mean jesus is second coming we don't know but we also know we don't know when our final day is. It could be today. It could be tonight. It could be, you know, God forbid something happens. And I don't want to delay. Uh, you know, when I ask people in my circle, so you think you're going to be with me in heaven? And for them to kind of just utterly say no, I don't know. That scares me. One of the worst Scariest passages in the Bible is Jesus says, Who are you? I don't know you. Oh my goodness, if that would happen. <clears throat> wow. You know, eternity is a very, very long time. Where are you going to be it will depend on the short time you're living here on earth. And it only takes them a matter of seconds. Jesus, I accept you, that you are my Savior. And that you died on the cross for my sins. Forgive me of my sins and I will follow you the best that I can this day and going forth. I repent of my sins. 
forgive me of those sins paid in full by the shedding of your blood on the cross. Amen. And then let the party begin. Anyways, I, I'm feeling compelled because I'm hearing the trumpets blowing and I, I'm like immediately my thinking is, I'm ready, who's coming with me? And I see, a, sadly, I see a huge list, a huge line of people just not gonna be coming. I feel sad in this human form, but believe me, when this day arrives, am I gonna think to that in that way? Heaven is about to begin, eternity is about to begin. Where, what side of that gate are you going to be on? Please, 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 please. Thank you. God loves you.